rest in peace at 35 cents guys what did we talk about we talked about the dxy moving upwards and it's and it is pumping guys it's 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 marching forward so this is where we gotta be careful right because it's inverse correlated with what's taking place right now but i before jump to some natural advice to some value only breaking sec council berkowitz resigns after being found to to have accepted bribes from sam bankman free there we go the truth, remember from BG123, truth will be what reigns supreme possibly in 2023. Why? We go down here, follow the money trail, right? He passed cash to Gary Gessler. Wow. What? From SBF. There are emails with the full extent of the bribe. There we go. Guys, it's over. It's over. Gary Gessler, GG, right? The number seven, 2023. Seven. This is how they were planning it out since 2022, guys, or if not earlier, right? Actually, since Jay Clayton time. Let's be realistic here. Then we go down here. The SEC working with unlimited strikes, right? Unlimited. Hmm. Everything's founded upon what, guys? There's so much corruption taking place, right? Remember, too bad nobody's enforcing it. Exactly. This wasn't written to keep you in line. We the people but it was written to keep them in line, right? Them in check, like who? The SEC, very, <laughs> guys, not only that, there's so much more happening, right? It's, especially today, guys, we are living in just strange times. If I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken guys, Gregory Manorino stated that if the founding, if, if the four founding fathers were to figure, find out what was happening today in America, they'll be rolling in their graves, right? Quote, it is the first responsibility of every citizen to question authority, end quote. Wow, from Benjamin Franklin, guys. Whoa. Well, isn't that something? Very fascinating stuff, right? But the Masonic career of Benjamin Franklin extends over a period of almost 60 years, during which time he was accorded the highest Masonic honors at home and abroad. Which founding father was a Freemason? George Washington. So Freemasonry, there are many men who were Freemasons during the war for independence such as Benjamin Franklin and George Washington. This, the, the, the America, the United States was built on what? From the beginning of time, guys. Let's be realistic here, right? Built on deception, possibly. Who knows, right? Who knows? If you, don't, if you do not understand this photo, then you have not done sufficient research of the Jesuit influence in the Vatican and elsewhere. The Grey Pope is arguably the most powerful and inf influential man on the planet. And I'm not sure about this, but expose White Pope, Grey Pope, and the Black Pope, right? The three different popes, the, the three, there's always three guys. The three men that pull the strings, right? And obviously there are people higher than this, right? It, it's like a pyramid, guys. The higher you go, the less people there are. I, I agree with you with the big picture but to say the great pope is above the black pope is almost impossible to prove right collectively they make up the hierarchy of mystery babylon that runs the world exactly guys now you know who that is the great pope basically chief of the rothschilds head of the rockefellers head of the vatican fascinating stuff now there, there, there could be a connection with the pope and whatnot right the dutch news said health issues are serious right jb Hmm, you got four days, right? We already know the game plan if it does take place. I'm not I'm not sure if it will, guys, but again, this all ties in with what, guys? The number 33, right? You want to see something weird? Watch this. So, so basically, we see here, they're all talking about 33, 33, 33, right? All over the news. Now, 33, the number 33, I believe is what, well, I think, I, this is what I believe, guys. It's the number of enlightenment, right? So I'm not sure why they're using that number for everything. But, but it definitely correlates with other things, if I'm not, possibly, right? Quote, there's a group of elites that are planning to take over with a NWO, end quote. He, his plane was shot down after this interview of, aired. He died in the crash, guys. Wow, listen to this. Freak says that, says this. 
The John Birch Society considers communism only one arm of a national of a master conspiracy in which socialist American insiders are plotting to establish world government. Now, he also says, and here's Director John McManus, that's your public relations director, saying that former Secretary of State Alexander Haig and CIA Director William Casey are two of these master conspirators who are plotting to establish world government. Now, what do you say? Uh, you know, that kind of silly, asinine statement is what makes pe make people laugh at the John Birch Society. Well, Tom, I'm sure being a long-standing member of the Rockefeller apparatus, uh, and as a member of the Council on Foreign Relations of long-standing, you're fully aware that you, there is an elitist core in this country that has seen value in subsidizing communism or protecting communism. It has? Sure. You're teasing me of subsidizing communism? No, no, I'm saying because that there is, to belong no, to a, no, to there a is an elite core. Study no, that, group? No, no, wait a minute. There is an elite core in this country that has dominated American society. Well, I'm not one of them. The Trilateral Commission, the Trilateral Commission, the Council, Council on Foreign Relations. They is a when they suppose. Well, let's face it, they've dominated the State Department for 40 years, mm -hmm. and uh, pretty much openly right, so. But what are they trying to do? Well, their about? objective is to try to bring about a gradual transition in our society, a dissolving of sovereignty, and a moving steadily to the left on the political spectrum. Well, who are they? Belief, the elitist groups that I mentioned, particularly key individuals and policymakers in the Council of Foreign Relations. Is the International Monetary Fund part of this? Well, I would say the International Monetary Fund has certainly been set up for the purpose of facilitating that transfer of sovereignty and transfer of wealth on the road. Well, to the Mr. Let me just finish the point, right. because otherwise we're we'll going to have a lot of un unanswered questions, that you are looking at a group that has worked to bring about a dissolution of national sovereignty on the road to world government. And certainly uh, you're familiar with uh, local professor Carol Quigley, who has been part of your club, in which he admitted all this. And he said in his book, Tragedy and Hope, the only thing I disagree is that we've worked to keep it a secret. We worked to keep it a secret. Remember from Mr. Poole? Shh. Don't let, don't let the truth out, guys, possibly. I'm not sure, but <laughs> it's all about secrecy, right? Um, he talked about the IMF is possibly included as well. Obviously, they're all included, guys. It's a transition rule, right? Or the IMF is a transition rule. Remember, we just talked about the IMF recently in the other videos, right? Now get through to the phone part of XRP in the XRP community. Now this is called White. Interesting. If you guys can like the video, really appreciate it because come on guys, no one is safe, right? Everyone's gonna everyone's going to get exposed. Harvard just confirmed that the patent that Visa is making for digital fiat currency is using XRP and XLM in 2022. Okay? So we see blockchain based digital currency flow path, right? From Harvard. And then if you go down here, look at this. Is this sign what I think it is? Right? If we if we take a closer look right there, guys, right here, what do we see? Looks very, very odd, right? Very very similar to who or what? This logo, the Freemasonry logo, guys, right? So it's pretty simple, guys. It's it's super simple. Right. I mean, the new system is inbound, and I don't see nobody stopping it. So the end goal is what? To just make everything centralized at the end of the day from Baba Cux. Probably nothing. A former U.S. treasurer on crypto investing in 2022 quoted or said, the train has already left the station, right? Exactly, guys. That was, that was back in 2021. And sending money abroad. Look at that, the IMF. Exactly, guys. Look at this. It will be easier in the future, right? Or receiving it. New tokens and platforms may transform cross-border payments. We just talked about the IMF, guys. Right? The special role. They're, they're all part of it, guys. It's super simple. Wow, the train has already left the station. Whoa. You guys can see, right, how Ripple is part of it as well. Of course they are, guys. Let's not be naive here, right? Civil 2022 will be maybe ending, but boy oh boy, Masonic 2022 will end with a bang, right? So let's check this out. 2023 is almost here, but first let's look back at the years Ripple Swell Global, right? But you know what's even crazy? Actually, 13 videos in 22. Wow, of course they did 13, right? Isn't that something? 22, right? 13, 22, which is what? That is eight, folks, right? One, two, three, three, two, one. Always remember, one full year is March 21st to March 21st, exactly when spring arrives, right? 
when the sun shines ever so brightly guys now europe is ready for a gold standard together they can stop the dollar domination again it's so simple we're heading into this new system at least we're going back to the gold standard right where they can't like it's crazy because the dollar everything's built upon what guys trust right if everyone's just stopped playing along with the system currently it will collapse immediately in a nanosecond less guys right if they stop printing that one extra fiat bill it will, it, will, it will immediately collapse the entire system i repeat there is no liquidity right so there needs to be something in bound guys right gold again gold but people are talking about how no liquidity is becoming a slang for markets are not looking good or this business is in insolvent right people are thinking that we're going to collapse here very shortly are we truly usually the majority of people are wrong think about it guys these people None of these people who tell us in the mainstream news, especially on the mainstream news, guys, especially th they usually mislead we the people, right? Into the what? Slaughterhouse. Who can you even trust at this point in time? Who knows, guys? From Vincent Kennedy. So, what's happening? Thoughts on 2023. It's all in for 2023. Political or financial resets, or a combination of both in 2023. We are going into into a new financial system after the U.S. defaults, right? So, so we can see, we will know when we're heading into this new financial system, guys. It's super simple, super easy. As soon as the collapse takes place, and you will immediately know when that will be because everyone's going to be panicking on the streets. I mean, it's going to be so bad, guys, that you will definitely know, right? Now, as soon as that happens. They're just going to wait a little bit for the people's reaction and then they'll implement the new system. From Val Jester, the topics discussed here might have seemed far out to you two years ago or so, but if you have truly paid attention, the random, the quote unquote random, not random things brought up, up now in the media, you're now familiar with and understand to a decent degree, right? Exactly, guys. We talked about all of this stuff happening how long ago? Years ago. You could have been born at any other time in the past, but the Lord has sent you here for this moment. Now is always the time, for tomorrow is promised to no man, right? You're not here by mere chance or coincidence by being here in this exact time to witness such events. Exactly, guys. I, I was thinking about this a long time ago. What are the chances that you're born or you're alive at this point in time, right? It has to be so small, guys. Very, very small, right? Extremely, that we can't even fathom how small it can be, right? Absolutely crazy, guys. Now, the fountain for Tasty comes from Baba Cooks. Now deleting all 2022 tweets. 2023 will be fun, right? But when could it be? Looks like 2022 end in a red anyway. What is that lips? What is that? A lipstick? Wow. 2022, right? Ending in red. In an overnight or a possible jump, as you guys can see, a leap of faith. Everything's, guys, meticulously put, right? I mean, I'm like, come on, guys. It's mind blowing stuff. We're living in crazy times, strange times, weird times, right? Upside down. I mean, everything's. Who knows what's happening, guys? Not financial advice. But anyways, that's all for guys. Interested? Amazingly, and guys, see ya.